Welcome back to the channel and I have a super quick but very cool beginner tutorial for you today in Blender. We're going to be looking at tessellation in Blender, so how to um, use a tessellate feature that comes with Blender's tissue tool. Now you can actually get this for free, you can download it or get it right inside of Blender, you don't have to go externally. And then I'm going to show you how to enable that add-on and essentially what you can do, and I want to show you this. The reason this is so powerful because you can take an object that has some faces, in this case it's some quads. Then you can make any sort of object. So for example, I have this sort of weave here. Then hold in shift and select that object and you can simply just tessellate it. And then you have this. So I've now just made this basket super quick. And I'm gonna show you two examples here today. So if you wanna learn how to do this, it's super fun. Very, very useful if you're a beginner because some things you just practically can't model. For example, this would be a nightmare to model traditionally, but with this tissue tool and the tessellation here, um, this becomes super quick and easy to do. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to do this in a blender. So first of all, before we get into anything, let's just make sure that we all have the tissue add-on installed. So we're gonna go to edit, preferences, and there could be some difference here depending on what version of Blender you're using, but you could go to your add-ons and you can type in tissue with two S's. And if you don't see the option for tissue, which I didn't, you simply have to go to get extensions, then simply come over here to the search, okay? And then you can type in tissue. Now I've already typed it in and searched for it and then I installed it. So you can see here it says installed. And then once I installed the tissue add-on, um, I just came here and enabled it. So that's just in Blender. You can enable that, it's fine. Once you have that tissue add-on enabled, what you can do is simply come into Blender and let's select all the default objects. We're gonna press delete and here's where it gets fun. We'll just make a little object here. So we're gonna go shift A. Let's go to a mesh object, um, objects here. Let's add in a cylinder. Uh, let's tab into edit mode and let's come in here and go control R hovering over an edge and just roll the middle mouse button to add in some segments. So we want these to roughly be squares. So once I have that, I'm gonna double click. So you can see they all look like these little squares here. And because we're gonna be using uh, the tessellation, um, squares are gonna work really good for this. So I'm gonna just select the top and the bottom face. I'm gonna go X and delete those faces. And then I'm gonna go to my edge select and I'm gonna go shift alt and left click to bottom. Edge select the bottom here and I'm gonna go control F and just grid fill that. And so you can see here we have a grid. And if you want to, for this, you could go ahead and kind of give this some interesting shape. Maybe we'll make like a little bit of a basket here or something, you know. But you guys get the idea, something like this. There we go. So now we have that, I'm gonna tab back out. And what we're gonna do is we want everywhere where there is a face to have a shape on here. So let's make that shape. So we'll make sort of like a basket weave but you could make anything. So we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna go to our mesh options, add in a plane. And with this plane, we're gonna go G, Y and move it over. And this is really super easy. We're gonna tab into edit mode. We're gonna hover over here and go control R and we're gonna roll the middle mouse button twice. So we have three of these segments and we're gonna double click. Done, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here and go control R this way and roll in a whole bunch of segments like this and then double click. Then go to your face select option and just select this section here, holding and shift select this section here. So these two sections, and then go control I to inverse the selection and then go X and just delete those faces. Then what you wanna do is go to your edge select option, enable proportional editing and then make it connected only. And then here what you can do is you can select this little segment over here and you can go G and you can go Z and move it up. And I'm gonna just make sure to roll my middle mouse button to control the fall off. So I'm gonna go something like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this bit over here and go G, Z and move that down a bit. And then I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna come this way and move this guy up and then grab the opposite one here and make sort of like a little valley like that, okay? And then I'm gonna turn off proportional editing and I'm gonna go A to select all of this. I'm gonna go Shift D to duplicate. And I'm gonna go R, Z, 90. So R, Z and 90 and rotate it like this. And then I'm gonna press A to select all of this. I'm just gonna go G and just kind of move it till it sits more in the middle. You can see our origin point sits there in the middle, roughly like that. So now we've got quite a weave here like that. So I'm gonna go back into object mode. And now we have our little weave pattern here. So what you need to do then is select this object that you want to be tessellated here. And you're gonna hold in shift and select the object that you want it to be sort of wrapped around, which is this object here. So this first then the object that's gonna get tessellated, then press N to bring up your properties. And now you can go over to your tissue add-on if you've enabled it, 
click on Tessellate, and now you can see we have some options here. So we're working with a quad, so it's these sort of squares. And um, we've got other options here as well, but for now we'll stick to qu um, quad, and we're gonna enable merge, so it merges these ends together where it can. And then let's click on OK. And there we have it. So it's still gonna keep the original thing here. So let's just select that original cylinder. We'll just hide it for now to turn it off. And now you can see this is what we have. So I can select this basket, I can right click and go shade smooth. And now we have this beautiful weave here that we've made with the um, tissue add on here. So we've got some tessellation. This is really, really, really fun. So what I can do, I can select this basket now and under my modifiers, I'll just give it some solidity. So I'll add a solidify modifier. And just like that, look at it. Pretty cool stuff. If you're not getting the right sort of merge, you could always add in a weld and put the weld on top of the solidify and then kind of increase that distance a little bit and that could clean up some of that mess for you. But overall, this is a fantastic thing that you could try out. And there are all sorts of other things you can do. So if I bring back my cylinder here and I just move it over to the side, I could always come here and I can go Shift A and maybe add in a circle. And I'll just bring the circle over here, tab into edit mode and let's just maybe extrude the circle in like this, extrude the whole thing up like a donut. And um, maybe I will just extrude some bits like this. So I'm just kind of giving an example of what else you could do here. Okay. So I might make sort of like this shape like this. Maybe, maybe extrude this guy out here. And maybe do the same thing on the sides. Like this. And I just really want you guys to see just how powerful this is. So. Um, this shape here would be really hard to make across this if we were going to model each little bit. But if I now grab this part, hold and shift and select this again, I can go ahead and tessellate again. And now tessellate with this object. And then I can hide that original cylinder. And now you can see I've made this over here, which would have been really difficult to make if I had to model this. But now I've tessellated this shape across here, which is really, really cool. So this is tessellation. This is the um, tissue add-on and I really think you guys are going to enjoy using it. So I would like to cover this add-on in a little bit more detail in the future. There's a lot more stuff going on here. But for now, this is kind of where I want to keep it as a nice simple beginner tutorial. I'll see you guys next time and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.